G'day Gary and Judy, Hayden here at Pacific Toyota giving you the personalized high definition video tour on our 2017 Holden Colorado LTZ. Uh, now before I run through the LTZ Colorado, what I thought I would do is show you who Pacific Toyota are. So if you haven't been here before, this is us up here in Cairns. And here at Pacific Toyota, we actually have two premium used car locations. Now between the two sites, we generally stock in excess of about 100 and 180 to about 240 vehicles at any given time. Uh, so this is what we class as our city site and we're located roughly about five kilometers from Cairns Esplanade which is just out here in front of me. And if we follow Mulgrave Road which is just here, about two kilometers um, up into the suburb of Bungalow, you will come across our secondary site as well as our two brand new showrooms. So we have Toyota and Lexus up there as well as our service and our spare parts department. Now about five kilometers around the corner from them we also have uh, Hino trucks opposite lock full drive accessories and Coral Motors. So we are quite a large dealership. As I mentioned, we are the largest pre-owned department for Toyota in Queensland, and we're the fifth largest in Australia. So it was just a quick walk around um, of, of our dealership. So basically I'm gonna be doing a, uh, a video tour on the Colorado for you now. Um, and as I mentioned on the phone, basically what I'm gonna do is show you through the entire vehicle. So we're gonna go through all the paint and panel, uh, obviously all the interior condition, the engine bay, all the service history and all the instrumentals that come with the vehicle. All right, so we're gonna pop open the bonnet here. Start off in the engine bay area. So as you can see there, it does have an engine which is half the battle one and that is the 2.8 litre turbo diesel Duramax engine um, which is the, uh, I guess you'd call it the baby version of the big uh, GMCs over in America. Right, close that one down, give it a look at the front of the bonnet. Nice and tidy. Doesn't appear to be any stone chips from what I can see, which is good. Uh, coming through the front bar, it is a genuine Holden bar, um, and they do um, come uh, complete with your front facing sensors. The bar is in good condition as well. Moving through to our rims and tyres, they are a factory uh, alloy wheel, they are a two-tone alloy, so you have your machined finish um, on your outer and then obviously on the inner, that um, nice black finish and they're wrapped in a, uh, I guess a highway terrain tyre there with heaps of tread left on those as you can see. Uh, down the panels on the driver's side, all nice and straight, there's no visible dents which is perfect. Everything seems to be nice and tidy so far. Coming through to the rear now. Mark in the uh, rear step here. Uh, but again, you do have uh, rear facing sensors. This one obviously has a tow bar and also a reversing camera just up underneath there. Soft cover, soft corner cover. Top. Uh, alloy sports bar, obviously inside the tub, fairly tidy in there. And then straight down the opposite side now. So again, as you can see, nice and straight, no visible dents, which is good. Here. All right, so that's the remote start. So on those um, really hot uh, summer days, basically you can pretty much be making your coffee, start your car up, get the aircon running. That way, 
obviously inside the car is uh, is nice and fresh for when you get in, not uh, scorching hot. Um, but obviously the car remains locked. Um, even if the car was unlocked, you still need to um, put your key in the ignition and turn it to on um, before you can even uh, release the, uh, the the shifter there. Um, so a bit of a safety device um, built in with that. The other one also is for the windows. So as you can see there, you can wind down the windows just by holding the um, open button there. And that does all four windows as well. So again, if you don't want to run the aircon, you just want to let the, the heat escape, you can wind down your windows as well. Um, and then to wind them back up, basically it's just lock and then hold the lock button in and then they wind straight back up as you can see there. All right, so we'll jump inside the vehicle now and show you through, obviously, the interior of the car. So through the back here, nice and tidy. Nice and clean through the front there as well. So 45,308 k's are showing on the clock there. And as you can see, no warning lights on the dash, which is perfect. Instrumental wise, you have uh, pretty much everything at your fingertips these days. So uh, all your stereo controls uh, over here with your Bluetooth controls. And then over here, you have your full crash mitigation, full crash alert, uh, and then all your cruise control options as well, just there. And all your lights are just down here. And all your um, window and side mirror controls are just here as well. Alrighty, moving across into our infotainment system here. Nice large display um, screen there. We'll, um, we'll turn that up so you can obviously hear it. We're on an actual station. Right, so as you can hear there, all the speakers are working nicely. There's no distortion or anything like that. Um, now, if we go to media, if we go to home, you can see um, you do get your Apple CarPlay as well as um, satellite navigation there. Also, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, I should say. Uh, climate control settings there, so um, you can set your ideal temperature just here. And then down here, you've got your lane departure warning, uh, your traction control, downhill assist control, and obviously your parking sensors. And then all your um, drive modes there with all your full driving options there. Uh, there is one thing that I wanted to quickly point out. There is a couple of little marks uh, just on the plastics there. Um, other than that, everything else is nice and tidy in the vehicle from what I can see. All right, so service history, got uh, the first service there, 14. 24, 33, 40, and then it's not due until 66,000 Ks. So uh, a full service history there um, with the vehicle. Obviously inside the car, there's um, you know no major scratching or anything like that on any of the plastics. Um, everything seems to be in, um, in good condition from what I can see. Um, so we might just um, jump out and give you a final look over the vehicle now. Um, now as you can see, when I open the door, the window cracks, um, and then when you close the door, it straight back up. Uh, so that's obviously to reduce cabin pressure um, inside the vehicle, um, which is a cool little feature as well. Uh, we do get two remote keys with the car, um, but that is our 2017 LTZ Colorado. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do have any further questions, though, please don't hesitate to give me a call. I look forward to hopefully uh, doing business with yourself very soon. Cheers.